Despite its modest geographical size of only 780 square kilometers, Bahrain stands out as an island nation, comprised of 33 islands, with the main island being Bahrain Island, where the capital city of Manama is located. Despite being renowned for possessing the finest sea pearls, Bahrain harbors a darker side that is perhaps less known, including being nicknamed the Vegas of the Middle East. And this is because there are no stringent regulations particularly concerning nightlife for residents or visitors. Moreover, the country has been the site of numerous human rights violations. It is alleged that Bahrain has committed extensive human rights abuses during and following the massive protests in 2011, which demanded political and economic reforms. Members of the political opposition, as well as activists, bloggers, and human rights defenders, have been continuously arrested and detained for their involvement in the pro-democracy protests of 2011 and more recent political activism. They have been subjected to cruel and brutal treatment, including torture and denial of medical care. The Bahraini government has been criticized for its repression of freedom of speech, assembly, and expression. Human rights organizations such as Amnesty International and Human Rights Watch have issued reports highlighting arbitrary arrests, torture, and unfair trials against political activists. Elections tend to be authoritarian and susceptible to fraud, with opposition voices systematically marginalized and suppressed. Recently, it was reported that over 800 inmates at Jiao Prison, the largest detention facility in the country, participated in a hunger strike from August to September 2023. This action was taken as a form of protest against the extremely poor conditions and the Bahraini authorities' rejection of necessary health care for those who are ill. Ironically, many of those who went on hunger strike were detained unfairly after undergoing trials with unclear legal proceedings. But it doesn't end there. The Bahraini government ratified the political isolation law in 2018. Once again, its content significantly restrict the rights of its citizens. It stipulates that former members of the country's opposition parties are prohibited from running for parliamentary positions or sitting on the boards of civil society organizations. Additionally, this law targets former prisoners, including those detained for their political activities. Those affected by this law continuously face delays and rejections when applying for a certificate of good conduct. Naturally, this certificate is crucial for Bahraini citizens and residents to apply for jobs, enroll in universities, and even join sports or social clubs. The extensive silencing efforts also sweep through cyberspace. Bahraini authorities continue to block websites and remove content and posts on social media that critique the government. Even though social media remains a primary space for activism and expressing opinions, self-censorship is practiced due to fear of surveillance and intimidation by the authorities. For instance, in March 2023, the Bahraini government arrested four individuals for their posts on social media. Ebrahim Almanai, a prominent lawyer and activist, made a post on X, formerly known as Twitter, stating that the Bahraini government should reform its parliament if it aims to highlight Bahrain's parliament to the world. It has been reported that Bahrain has purchased and used spyware, including NSO Group's Pegasus spyware, to target government critics and human rights defenders. With a population of 1.47 million people, where 54% are immigrants, Bahrain faces significant challenges regarding refugees and migrant workers. As the capital, Manama, plays host to numerous migrant laborers employed across sectors like construction, domestic work, and services, Various controversies arise, including exploitation by employers characterized by low wages, poor working conditions, and difficulty accessing health care and legal protection. The Bahraini labor law covers domestic workers but exempts them from certain protections such as weekly days off, minimum wage, and working hour limits, trapping some in debt-laden situations that restrict their freedom. The issue is further complicated by Bahrain's continued enforcement of the Kafala sponsorship system which ties migrant workers' visas to their employers. This means if they leave their employers without consent, they risk arrest, fines, deportation, and loss of residency status for being considered absconders. In 2009, Bahrain allowed migrant workers to terminate their contracts after one year with their first employer, provided they gave reasonable notice within a month to their employer. However, in January 2022, the parliament extended this to two years, 
Workers are also expected to bear their own work permit costs for two years, a financial burden for many, resulting in fewer workers being accepted. Additionally, limitations on religious freedom exist, despite Islam being the official religion and constitutionally recognized. Religious minorities sometimes face obstacles in worship and practicing their faith. Even within Islam, the Shia minority occasionally experiences denigration and persecution by the Sunni majority authorities. The Bahraini government plays a role in these issues, having discriminated against the majority Shia population for years, including targeting Shia clerics and arresting and prosecuting human rights defenders with Shia backgrounds, as was the case with Abdul Hadi Al Khawaja in 2011. In June, Bahraini authorities imposed restrictions and established checkpoints in and around Al Diraz village, home to the Imam Al Sadek Mosque, a principal mosque for the Shia community in Bahrain. This prevented congregants from attending Friday prayers there. The access restrictions followed the detention of a prominent Shia cleric, Sheikh Mohammed Sankur, who frequently preached at the Imam Al Sadek Mosque.